Hi everyone, welcome to class number 2, Selection Sort. This is a very simple algorithm which runs as many cycles as the number of the elements of your array minus 1. Now, each cycle will find the minimum value for that particular cycle and then it will move it to the left. Let's have a look at this example. So we have this 9 elements array and 2 pointers. The first one is pointing at index 0, which is 7, and the second one is pointing at index 1, which is 3. Now, as 3 is smaller than 7, we bookmark this value and we, we continue. So 6 is still bigger than, than, than 3, so we continue. And again, now we find a value which is actually smaller than 3. So we change bookmark and we continue. 9, 2, well, 2 is still bigger than 1, 4, 8. So, the minimum value for the first cycle is moved to the beginning of the array and it will be ignored by the following cycles. So, the next cycles will skip the first position. So, we have now two index, as we had before, index 1 and index 2. 3 and 6. Now 3 is smaller than 6, so we bookmark index 1 and we continue. 3 is still smaller than 5, we continue, we continue, we continue. Now we found 2, which is smaller than 3, so we bookmark 2. We continue, we continue, and again the new minimum is moved right after the previous one. They will be both ignored by the next cycles. And again, now we have a 3. The 3 is the new minimum, which is moved. And the cycles continue until the array is completely sorted. Selection sort performs the same number of comparison as the bubble sort, requiring less swaps. For large arrays, it runs in n square. However, the smaller amount of swaps makes it faster than the bubble sort. So, the very next thing you want to do is building your code. Just remember to include the debugging symbol as well. Okay, let's run it. Okay, so we have our initial array, and then we can see that uh, eight swaps were necessary in order to get the array sorted. So this is our main class and its members. First of all, we have to declare an array which is going to be storing our elements. Then we need a variable, an integer, that is going to be keeping track of the number of elements that we store. This is needed because um, for some programming languages, such as C, arrays are simply not objects, so we cannot use uh, array.length. So we have our constructor, and then we have our insert, which is using the uh, elements uh, variable that we just declared. And then we have a show data, which is just a very simple printout. And finally, the core of our algorithm, the selection sort method. So let's see, let's see what's going on here. So we have two nested four cycles. The very first step of the first four cycle is taking the very first value and saying, okay, this is the minimum value. And now let's see if I can find something better. Now, the next four, in fact, is going to be cycling through the entire array looking for value that could be less than the current minimum value. And when this is found, minimum equal to in. Right? At the end of these two cycles, we have the swap. Why is this? Because 
you always gonna be swapping the minimum value with the very first value because remember what this algorithm does is shifting to the left the minimum value for that cycle and then we have a very simple swap algorithm we've seen this before for the previous algorithm so nothing new for you and finally the select sort test which is just a class that we use for our testing we populate we manually populate the array we show some data we sort the array and we print again okay so let's activate the debugger and we want to stop right here where the selection sort starts so it's going to be selection sort test and then line 61 then we run it okay we just printed the initial array and then we are right here line 61 step we are now line 24 right here step step print minimum and out we can see that both zero and then list we are now here which is exactly here okay step step okay print um container and with in and container min okay these two are equal why well because if we have a look at the array we have that we just found that index one was less than index zero well the content of the index one was less than uh, index zero and we swapped them so we have the new minimum which is index one step and we are yeah and we print again and we see that now we are here so we are analyzing index 1 and index 2 now 3 is still less than 6 so nothing to change here and in fact if I do I'm still getting 3 now list we are again 27 which is here step let's print the minimum well still 3 and I'm not surprised because index 3 contains 5 now the next one is gonna change because we just found 1 which is less than 3 and so on thank you very much